Big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. I know you want to make the most amazing chicken and I got it right here in front of me, stuffed with all kinds of goodness. And it's very, very easy to make a good chicken. And I'm going to show you exactly what those right things are. And it all starts by selecting the right chicken. This is a beautiful Belgian chicken. Now, if we look at it, it kind of looks strange because of the lump that sits right there, but more importantly, the fat that sits on its butt. <laughs> look at this chicken's butt. And fat with chicken means the same thing as fat with steaks. So whenever buying a chicken, just go in here, look at that butt. And then if you find a piece of chunky fat like this, you know you hit the jackpot. And I'm starting with seasoning. I'm gonna season the outside with my Pitmaster's Classic Barbecue Rub. This is a pre-made batch, and of course the recipe is in a link down below. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on until I got a good looking bird. Of course, we want some seasoning on the inside, and there we have it, a well-seasoned bird. Then it's time to make the stuffing, which of course starts with a half a kilogram of chicken thigh, followed by 150 grams of shredded cheddar cheese, a quarter red onion, four jalapeno peppers with the stalks removed, and don't forget about that precious chicken fat. Add to that one tablespoon of the classic Pitmaster X barbecue rub, and then pulse it up until you have a thick, coarse stuffing. The next step is to tie this chicken up and making sure that that stuffing stays inside. Then of course the wings are gonna go behind his back, put it in the sunny position. Last bit of seasoning, look at that. How gorgeous is that? You know this chicken is gonna be fully loaded. Can't get any more flavor on this thing. This is ready for the grill, so let's go outside. We're back outdoors, it is beautiful, crispy, cold weather, and I'm gonna fire up my Napoleon Keto grill. This is a pretty standard grill, other than it has a cast iron grill grate and I have the perfect way to set it up for indirect heat. And with this cold weather, I'm gonna use a double indirect heat source. So I'm gonna put in two blocks of wood and I'm gonna use some premium Napoleon briquettes. Because in the winter time, you're gonna have all this cold air flowing around and that's what makes it exciting. That, was, that is the key factor about cooking in the winter time, but you gotta be prepared. So that's why the dual setup with the briquettes, it's gonna give off a lot of heat over a longer period of time. Of course, I'm not gonna fire that up using a fire starter. I'm just gonna take some embers straight from a fire and that's gonna give my barbecue an instant heat boost and it's gonna light up the briquettes. Then the grill grate goes back on and I'm gonna set that chicken on top of it now, of course, I want to make sure that I cook this to perfection. So I'm going to add a thermometer just to make sure I keep track of that temperature. And even more importantly, with this cold weather, you're not going to be sure of the temperature. Well, you're going to be less sure of the temperature if you think about it, because all that cold wind's flowing around and maybe at the top it's warm, but at the bottom or at grill grade level, it might not be as warm. That's why that thermometer is so important. I'm gonna let this barbecue run at a temperature of around 140 to 160 degrees Celsius, and I'm aiming for a core temperature of that chicken of around 72 degrees Celsius. I just got the notification that the chicken is done. And as you can see, it's dark outside, but we got a beautiful roasted chicken. And since we used the briquettes and the smoke wood, we got a nice dark, smoky bark on the outside. Look at this thing. It looks absolutely freaking delicious. Now, I want to pull out that pin right there from the thermometer, but it's super crazy hot. The core temperature is 75 degrees Celsius. If you look here from the back, you see the fat is dripping out. I'm going to give it around 20 minutes and then I'm going to open this thing up and take a look inside. <laughs> Woo! Look at that chicken. I know that's what you've been waiting for. Molten cheese, jalapenos and roasted chicken. Insane, crunchy, delicious. Now it's not hard making chicken, especially when you buy the right stuff. But if you do it right, the reward is so big. We got that nice dark bark on the outside. That's not burned, that's all flavor. Smoke flavor. Now, of course, I wanna try this. See how that stuffing turned out. Oh, oh. Mm. Best stuffed chicken ever. 
It's like a meatloaf made out of chicken with cheddar and jalapeno, barbecue style. 